Ah, well, last time, the Paladins are having a meeting to, to discuss the impending Demon, Demon Prince's army coming down to get his generals back. And at the at the last at the last minute, the first lady, the the first lady walks in, and accuses General Stone of trying to backstab General High General Steelmore. Hence, General Stone is on the run. Especially since some um, scrap told him like, yeah, she's telling the truth. Yeah, I think she's telling the truth. Now. There is a way for you out of this, but, but um, Jim, but um, but um, Seagull, you have to make a couple of checks. Okay. Because they, because I think Scott forgot that he has three paladins that still on the paladin order as shadows. Mm hmm So that means you have to make perception checks to see if they find them before. Before the um, before the rest of the order does. Okay, what's the modifier? Huh? What's the modifier? Uh, your your perception check. Actually, your perception check, since they're I assume they're trained, so it's not going to be cut in half like civilians are. And this is going to be against a DC, and this is going to go against. Let's see what the dice says. A 14. Wait, so the DC's a 14? No, they rolled a 14 on their perception checks. Okay. So I gotta roll my perception? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just double checking. Adaptive. I'll do my base modifier. 31. Yeah, you find... Okay, so, yeah, they find them. Okay. What do you want to do with them? Well, we gotta fucking disappear them. Like, you could disappear, you could say, oh, he passed a check, which require you to make another check, but... No, 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 no. We, we, I, I just want to get rid of him at this point. The damage is done. It's best that he disappear and be added to the collection of test subjects. Uh, all right, so, so what do you want us to disappear to? Send them north of the mines. We have got we've got cells up there to keep them contained. All right, come on, come on, you're coming with me. And he and one of his general and one of his um, lower rank generals drag him up to the north to the north of mines. Meanwhile. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the first lady walks in, like, "Oh, and by the way, and the and yeah, I'm gonna say that Jim Pan walks in about this time, and and William, you can actually hear do comes for the shout in the kitchen, mm -hmm. as he says, "Oh, by the way, this time, I also have to plan for the dock. A um, couple people, uh, a a ship about." About a day or two away, it's coming. It's slowly coming in with a bunch of storm clouds hanging over it. You might want to get ready. Uh, you might want to get ready, gentlemen. Hey. <sighs> uh, what you call? Probably ask. Um. Probably ask um. You um Feb um uh uh sir do you know I'm William? I need one of those um uh Kierman uniforms. <laughs> okay. I uh first I wanna get a good look at this guy. Does oh, he actually oh. look familiar to me? Uh, he's one of your workers. <laughs> okay. Remember, it's a wheelchair about paladin. That's that's a temporary worker. Okay. First, I'm grabbing a 
nice uh okay i don't know exactly what they call them but you like you know like what a, a moonshine jug looks like right yeah okay i grab one of those and it's filled with some fine beer first step give him the beer second step escort him into the back room third step uh provide the uniform fourth step realize i actually have to take his armor off so i can help him actually get into the uniform yeah because if if people don't see where this armor looks like i'm gonna upload the fifth shot thing. fifth step down the entire moonshine moonshine bottle myself okay let's do this and step six Change him into a into a gearsman uniform. Step seven: Have Pony just have a uh, mittens just looking on menacingly or condescending, however you want it to look, or she just was angry that. She wanted the boobs. Oh boy. Okay, 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 mittens. I'll get you I'll get you more. I'll get you some more boobs. Okay, okay. Shh shh shh. Ah, oh, you're a good girl. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. Now let's go get you a some nice bit of moonshine. We actually working together on that. Let's try a sample together. And then Veb and Mittens just goes on their own wild adventure to have uh, moonshine. Oh, boy. He after, will. after dressing up the paladin in the uniforms of a gearman. All right. After you dress him up, he wheels towards the docks to examine things. Now, Tabitha, now Tabitha explains what's going on what's happening. After he left the Paladin <laughs> Order to become a freelancer, he also became a tracker. Which means he could track his prey no matter pretty much the ultimate hunter, if you will. So he's going out to the docks to see one, if they're demons, two, what type of demons, and three, how many demons are there. Now, as far as Ultimate Hunter goes, are we talking Arnie or Predator? Uh, as Predator as a holy, as a holy, holy good pelican can, can get. Well, I mean, he can't kill unless, he can't kill needlessly, but, yeah, yeah. And there are rules, but, like but, yeah, if it, if it wasn't for that, he'll be, he'll be definitely on the Predator's side. Okay. Alright, so... And, also before I left, I gave him a key. A uh, key? What's this? Okay. In my temporary room, which is by and large Emzo's, and yes, I pay rent on that, I have a small chest. In that includes three potions specifically that it can help heal with wounds, and one knife. It has been poisoned, so be very careful. Uh, thank, thank you. And he wills himself over to the docks. Alright, so, any questions you want to ask about the incoming enemy ship, just ask, and he'll, and he'll be answering as them within reason. And, the, and that includes you, William, because you, I, I assume you listened to the, to the conversation the entire time. Does it look ghostly? All right, well, it's not exactly a normal ship. All right, sir, it's not exactly... Well, he's 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 talking to one of the shadows that's that's happened to be a dock worker, so so getting dirt hand information. He's like, well, he said it's not exactly a normal ship. 
Like it, it feels like it's been to the to the blender and back. What colors are they showing? Uh, sir, the ship is all red. Shit. <laughs> William, scrap. Uh, both your characters name. Uh, Arya, get ready for blood. A ship is thrilling the red. They're just interested in killing and taking everything. Okay. okay. I'll order the defenses online. Basically, I'm assuming at this point, Ty, we've gotten towers with those uh, steam-powered cannons in them. As yeah. Well as we've got, you know, speed boats that have them on the nose. So, we'll, uh, we'll start deploying. Emergency deployment. It would not surprise me if they have a druid on that ship that will turn people into fish to, to sneakily get into our lands. I'll call up the, uh, I'll call up a, a, a tie. Ha, have, has a colony of um, mermaids moved into our harbor or nearby? Uh, yeah, 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 they heard the emergency. I assume you called them. Um... Well, no, 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 I'm thinking, like, the, basically, we do construction in both areas at this point. Yeah, so yeah, we yeah they, have, they have some, they have yeah, some mermaids basically in there. Basically, hand, hand out the fucking tridents. Start killing the fish <laughs> around the dock areas. Uh, what do you, when you want to ask something else? I'm pretty sure there's one very key thing you want to ask. Have we ever seen this ship before? Well, uh, that's not the exciting thing, but no, we haven't. No, you have not. Okay. Is it a ship of notoriety? That theoretically anyone should know just by the sight of? Uh, fortunately, yes, because me and my friends have dealt with this. This is a ship of the former Demon King. Shit! Wait, demons or devils? Demon. Shit! I've never seen the ship before. It's a demon ship. It's one of notoriety, so theoretically we should know it by its outline. I'll, I'll just tell you that. Ship. Oh, God. Uh, uh, I, I just dealing tell you with this. the Bismarck. I'll just tell you this. And he says, like, oh, this is not good. Uh, those storm clouds are followed by three storm demons. That's who's in this charge. Shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <clears throat> okay. Gearman. Get rifles ready. Watch towers. Ensure proper lighting. Actually, quick question. Like, what time of day is it right now? It should be midday. Midday. Okay, so lighting. Uh, huge. Yeah, one more thing is about to tell you. Like, it looks like they're not going to dock our... Okay, they're obviously not going to dock our, our harbor because the first... The first lady's battleship is on there, so uh, and that's why he asked for Paladin's you the gearman to for so they don't recognize him. It looks like they're going dock in this in a Norver harbor. Keep swivel guns aimed. Until they attack, no action. For all we know, we could get a lot of money from a bunch of demons. In exchange for who knows how many people's souls. Who was that, Devils? Not to self. Reread the Necronomicon. Alright, do you re do relate this information after the rest of the panelists in the room, or just William? Um. To the Paladins? I relay the orders of, like, keep aim on, but don't fire unless provoked. To William, I go, uh, we can make money from this at the cost of several hundred souls. Or is that a devil thing as opposed to a demon thing? I think demon is souls. Let me double check. Oh, uh, by the way, the first day I asked, like, oh, and um, by the way, uh, Veb, is it? 
I need, to, I need to ask. I need to ask one. I one. I tell you, apologize. I'm going. I'm going to pay for my up for, for me and my husband. Just enjoy your lovely diner six months from now, as you requested. Okay. And two, I need some gunpowder. Unfortunately, I have a I have a gift for the high general for the high general over here. Unfortunately, my the magic the the magic that's allowed to shoot weapon to shoot the weapons isn't well. The lab got. Or I mean, we blew up the lab. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think we have enough gunpowder. We have, I think, six or eight barrels of gunpowder. But I have at least a hundred barrels of 100 proof. And anything higher than 80 is flammable. Uh, are you sure? And she, and she takes, and she orders one of her men to take out a blunt. Pretty much a blunderbust. You see Veb just literally, like, open the cash register and just pour, like, a sack of gold coin into it to where it, like, wouldn't fit. Yeah, that's how much she's paying. Like, yeah. I, if, it gets, if it gets some gunpowder, it'll be really helpful. We will call the bulls with, um, with cold steel and holy, but we need the bulls to actually fire. You got it, man. And Veb runs into the basement with pony in, with uh, mittens and snuffles in charge. Going into the basement. And yes, there's still that sack of gold that's still just pouring out into the register. As Veb goes into the basement to try and grab what gunpowder he knows that the place has, as well as his... Uh, Collection of uh, very very high proof alcohols, like after a, like after a minute or two, like you just hear like Veb, Snuffles, and Mittens just coming up with barrels and barrels on their back, going right in the main area, actively set after after ah, I can't speak into one corner. This will be where the gunpowder goes. Right here is where the 100 plus proof alcohol goes. Because we can make good fire. Ah. Hi, John. I was like, ah. I wish I could, I, I wish I could recruit you for the order. Smart thinking. But why give this to me? Well, well, Ty General, you're the weapon master. And. And I assume want to go on one last fight before you retire from active combat, don't you think? You received the battlefield promotion, and I assure you. No, I he's high. He's high general. He's pretty much the highest he could get. Yeah, sorry, high, 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 high general. He's pretty much the highest he could get. He just want to feel the thrill of battle one final time. Okay, buddy, let's do this nonsense. I like a load. Carry three of these. I will carry. I can carry easily four to six of these above my head. Like the first one up, I can then charge. Fire doesn't hurt because we got water nearby. That actually isn't how physics works, does it? Uh, I don't think so. Well, anyway, so everyone's got a day. And Jinpan, you're definitely back by now. Anything you want to do before they, the, f the fight begins. And yes, you're going to have to roll this eventually. There is one thing I'd like to do. Go ahead. I, I should also note, Willem, before you say anything, the first lady is going to sleep on her battleship. So you're not going to get a chance to hypnotize her. Well, slight issue. We would have never let them into the fucking harbor. She would not have been let off of her ship. Except one problem. She's a Chrome Master. She could just rewind time constantly into sneaking away on the ship. At best, we and could keep her, she, like, in the dock she's area. She's and causing a massive international incident, which could lead to alliances breaking down. Uh, 
Unfortunately, they also gonna pull out the second rule. Because a member of the Sorcerer Council had to leave his area, another member can replace him. I remember Grande had to leave the area. <laughs> and the so of technically, it's his, it's her, it's, it's her, Grand, it's her until um Grande gets back, or she decides to go back to her home country. Whoever goes, whoever comes first. Fem looks to William and goes, "Magic be bullshit." Exactly. Okay. Okay. Sniffle. I remember the Sorcerer Council is exactly a. Uh, straight laced. You seen you seen the members that are on there. Oh, yeah. I think it's so uh, at first place, it's pretty much straightforward as you get. You have a, you have a problem I'm gonna solve it no matter what. Even if I have to use my time magic to do so. One erases memories and one was one one's pretty much a a California bitch and one was a necromancer. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Kick that necromancer in the testicles. He owes me 20 gold from that one card game. What? What, Winston? <laughs> he didn't pay up in our card game. And he got away because I was drunk. Oh, boy. Which, granted, that's kind of just how orders... Okay, like, you, you can't... You can't ban her now that she's on her ship again, so... You can't ban her from re restocking the dork, but... Okay. As long as she's on so the yeah, she, So yeah. So yeah, she's, go she's gone. She's gone. She's she's pretty much going to be on the f her battleship for the rest of the night. So long as she's on good behavior, I have no qualms. Like, she just she just wanted to give um, the high general his blood in the bus and a and to pay you directly for her or husband to um die in your fine establishment. Mm -hmm. And then plus, 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 as she pretty much said, as soon as as soon as um what, as soon as Granny gets back, I just ask him to um erase everything that happened so that you don't know I'm a clone master. Fep just puts she, down she just his logger. That, she just says that casually. Fep just puts down a logger and goes, Wait, what just happened? No, you, she just says it casually as he goes, bars her ship. Alright, so anything else you want to do for the rest of the day, including you, Jim Pan? No? Uh, hello? For... Alright, so next... Alright, the next day, the ship arrives. I'll just change match right here. Uh, Veb just... Uh, Veb snuffles and mittens. They keep grabbing barrels from the basement. Alright, the ship arrives and it docks around this hide. Three storm demons and a hell... Three storm things lead a hell of a lot of demons and imps across town. The paladins and gearmen are slowing them down in town. Wait, hold on, how the hell did they dock? We have warships out there with guns. So that means we would have tried to sink them in the water, use as well as utilizing tower defenses. Damn it! That means if. That means they're gonna sink before they even get to the docks. Yes. Except, except for the except for the storm demons that have flights. Oh, one or two ships that escape the massacre is no problem. No, the, it was, it was no, there's only one ship. It's just it was one there's ship just a gallon. There's, there's a gallon that's just filled with a brim with demons. Yeah. So that means only this. So that means only the um, the storm demons will survive. The storm demons will get past. Because they could just redirect the wind to a gun gunshot nearby. Okay. Everybody, this is going to be hell. But I know you're brave. Every one of you has something to fight for. You have someone you love. Now, imagine if the monster's there. As uh, Vet points to the ship, 
gets behind you. What's to say they won't hurt or kill your loved ones? Be ready. Be willing to put everything into this. Just as I will. Mittens, snuffles, let's do this thing. This is coming a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. So, the pilots take care of one store demon. The gimmick take care of another store demon. And guess what? You're going to have to fight the third storm demon. <laughs> Let's do this nonsense! I'll transfer you to the map. I hand out Slim Jims. Even though it only works for those who actually have the Barbarian class. For everyone else, it's like a nice little tasty treat. Uh, I'm guessing south end, like, around here is right? Yeah. I just do. Uh, officially, okay. uh, Veb is on top of mittens. All right, anyone else want to join or roll initiative? Okay. How about you, crazy sons of bitches? Do you want to live forever? No. <laughs> I like. Steel Wars, like, I like ya. Better that coward I have as my second in command. Exactly did that. I go. It was from World War One. It was from the Marines of the Devil Dogs. Ah, oh boy, I forgot to. Clear all turns. It's always fun when the DM rolls the highest. Well, I rolled a five so far. And that and that's for steel more. Will this be the first time our characters die? Good question. Did we work her HP? I forgot to add that. Say again? Or HP. Hit points. Huh? Or hit, hit points. Did we roll for it or? We've been doing max HP per level. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Alright, so five, four. Give me a minute to adjust my HP. So, I put 5.1 so that you could go for You could go before um, <coughs> the old man. I did a 14. So. Oh, you rolled 14. That's what you're trying to say. I, 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 no. Fourteen, so five plus four, five point fourteen. Okay, there we go. That looks quite accurate. Wow, intro high.
All right. Everyone ready to begin? Yep. All right. Ems goes first. La. M okay. They come. They demand an go first. He laughs, flies over. Like I want to pick up the tiger first. Boss, let me pick up the tiger. All right. You. All right. You can pick up the tiger. Snuffles is drooling. Ah, uh, crap. I have to get a little bit closer. Uh, does that hit your AC, Snuffles? I guess Snuffles? Yeah, he's aiming for Snuffles. It meets... Uh, beat favors the player, so you, so these passes. Second imp goes like that should be right. Let me show you how it's done. Flies over to mittens <laughs> and tries to use his tries to use her stinger on him. And you have a very angry dwarf on top of that horse, uh, on top of the pony. Uh, give me a moment just to do a little, just Excuse give me a moment to do a quick separation. Okay, I assume that hits. Uh, twenty, uh, a twenty-eight. Yes, a twenty-eight hit beats her twenty-four AC for two damage. William, you're up. I pull out the paralyzer and tase one of these fucks. What? What happens? Yeah. Where's the range touch attack? No, I'm gonna do my uh, base. Police brutality. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Roll your damage to see if you actually hit. <laughs> Um, so how much damage did uh, Snuffles take and Mittens take? Uh, Snuffles took nothing because he, she didn't beat the AC. 24 versus uh, Touch AC for... That hits. ...with this guy. Um, I only moved Snuffles right now here. He needs to roll a fort save. Just for the purpose of being able to... Say again? Now he needs to roll a fort save. Ooh. Are you doing what I think you're doing? Yeah, I'm tasing him. Oh, boy. It fails. So it's tased for now. It is tased for... Let's see, what is paralyzed term? Nope. Uh, it's tased for, okay, three turns. Ouch. But I'm going to save at the end of each turn to uh, reduce the effect. Uh, Snuffles, you go. Oh, um, never no. mind. It's tased for ten rounds. <laughs> <sighs> oh, boy, that's... Uh, I... Snuffles, you go. <laughs> Why am I remembering the, don't tase me, bro, don't tase me, bro, video? <sighs> Okay, uh, since... Also, uh, just so you know, Kiri, you can do a coup de mm -hmm. gras on it. It's considered helpless. <laughs> Kitty is hungry. Nom. And goes after the, uh, the incapacitated one. So let's just coup de do... Gras. Yep. Okay, uh, let me double check coup de gras. I'm going to double check its action. Multi-attack. Multi-attack. It's not a multi-attack. A coup de gras is a full round action where you can deal one attack to them. 
Okay. Uh, this is a 31 hit. Uh, and yeah. You automatically, that, that... Hit, you automatically hit and score a critical hit if the defender survives the damage. So you don't even need to roll. You basically just roll the damage. As if it was a crit. And coup de grace, do attack um, attacks of opportunity. Do broke attacks of opportunity. Okay, so, so that means the other five. Could, you know, for being there again. Yep. So roll its damage um, as if it was a uh, critical. Uh, Twenty-seven. I now, think that now, now it needs to roll a fort save of DC plus the damage dealt, or it instantly dies. I think it dies anyway, since freaking um, demons are. Since imps aren't exactly a, t a very powerful tanking class, but they're like level two, level three. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a it's fifteen. Yeah, they're the zerg so, rush. So they're gonna die no matter what. They're just roaring, just just sick and giggles. It fails. It's dead. Yep. Oh, Snuffles had lunch. Okay. Mittens go. And also, I go at the same time as Mittens because I'm riding her. Go ahead. S you know what? Let's snap into a Slim Jim. Oh, yeah. Yep. All of a sudden, you hear, like, uh... I remember him. I remember him in my childhood. I remember his face. I can't remember it. He was snapping to the Slim Jim guy. Uh, Macho Man? Macho Man Randy Savage. That was it. All of a sudden, like, everybody hears, like, a, Oh, yeah! Right in their back ears. So, starting with... Starting with Veb. Right against the little imp that's in front of him that's still alive. If this thing actually would type. Okay, 38 for the first, 28 for the second. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing a 28 hits EAC. 28 does hit, yeah. Let's um, do some Fourteen to eighteen, so that's uh, twenty-eight. Thirty-two. Thirty-two points of damage. It dies. <laughs> okay. And simply because, like I said, it was just for purposes of that. Mittens charges. Da -da 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 Oh, boy. And she is also under the effects of rage. Plus, <laughs> that's... Does a 19 hit? Just misses, sorry. Well, you had a name pony. Like, try and clobber in. Yeah. With an angry dwarf on top. Oh, boy. Just for simplicity's sake, I'm separating these two so we can easily figure out, like, who you're attacking and the damage. No, because he's going to attack everyone next. Because he's going to fly up in the air. Well, a little, little bit to the air, so that actually is a, so you don't have to um, do jump attacks against him, because I'm not I'm not evil DM. And he's going to use Hailstorm. 
So everyone make a fortitude save. Sorry, reflex save. Reflex, you said? Uh, reflex or fortitude? Reflex. Damn. 23. Alright, you passed, so... Mittens passed. Uh, Aria, Aria passes. That passes. Let me, let me check. Let me do steal more real quick. Uh, steal more fails. Snuffles passes. So, everyone except steal more because the role decides, because life decides they want to fuck me. <laughs> Takes one point of damage. Steamor takes two, and it has and four charges to reach, and it takes four, and she can't, and he can't do it again for four fucking turns. So one point of damage. <laughs> oh god, that was so damaging. I think even he's a bear. It's like, what the fuck happened? Especially since he saw a pony, a dwarf, a tiger, which he probably wouldn't be surprised with the tiger, but the dwarf and the pony? How the fuck did they matrix that nonsense? All right, Aria, go. Yeah, I'll Okay. Shell trap. I assume I assume against the um, storm demon. Yeah, we will save. All right. Ah, crap! Rolls is weakest. Seventeen. Uh, I think so. Say again. Yes. How do you calculate the AC again? I gotta, I gotta do a will save again? No, but how did I calculate the AC again? It's the um, charisma plus 10 plus. I think he's passed them, anyways. Yeah, it's okay. Um, high general goes. He first time he's using a weapon. First time he's using a freaking gun. Oops, I didn't do me to roll that. I meant to roll this. The fuck? Oh. Uh, yeah, that's that was a mistake. So that's like five Google? No, nowhere near. Definitely beyond non million. What the hell is the number to the twenty third power? E E to the twenty three is not is not massive, but it's not tiny either. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, obviously it fucked up. Here's the here's the roll. Here's the actual roll. Twenty four actually hits, so Damn. Thirty right. po thirty points of thirty points of combined bludging and holy damage. Now keep them busy. Well, keep them busy. Imps are dead. William, you go. <laughs> taser, taser, taser! Police brutality, police brutality! <laughs> 16 versus his touch AC. It, it hits. He needs to roll his fort now. Oh, boy. <laughs>
Oh, he saves. Yeah. The uh, I'm going to double check if it does anything on a success, but... I only made this. I only made nope. a demon slightly stronger, so well, it's not. He, he so so really it's good. still. He so it's still good. normal storm demon. It's just slightly stronger yeah. than normal. Yeah. So I'll just, I'll step over here a little bit, just get a better. So I missed. Well, I, I hit, but he was able to tank it. It happens. Yeah. It's a, only a DC of a twenty. I. Right. Snuffles, your go. <laughs> Hello. Do, 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 do. Um, let's do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. All right, I rolled that wrong. There we go. Uh, 24 points of damage. Ouch. Uh, hang on. With bite? Uh, that was claw. I need to do that for bite. Okay. All right, Benton. You're good for this round. Huh, he's still alive. All right. Benton's, Benton's, and, Benton's and what's your call? Just go. And what's his name? Got it. Benton's, Benton's and Vep go. Mm-hmm. And hang on. Roll 20's being stupid. It hits. Okay, so both hit. Yep. Twenty-three for Veb as far as damage goes, and full round action for mittens. I assume the 10 doesn't hit. No, it does not. Does the 23 hit? Yes, it does. For 7 points of damage from Mittens. She couldn't quite fight him. And that's my turn. And I just forgot one thing about Steel War over here. Oh, Be because he because he scored the critical hit, he's going he's going to get. So you're you're not in the way. You wasn't in the way of this. What that happened? So he's going he's going to suffer a backlash. Uh, what exactly is a backlash? Outside of what I've seen with RPGs. Vengeful Wind. So I that means hope to God I'm not in the range of that. Yeah, you wasn't in the range when Steelmore got his crit, so... <laughs> Let's see if she actually could be a DC... Oh, it actually beats the check, so... 
Uh, 17 cut and a half is 8. So it only takes 8 point of damage. But yeah, I completely forgot because I didn't expect any of you to land a fucking crit. I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't expect the frick. I didn't expect the, um, the paladin to land a crit first. Anyway, Demon goes and just says, I'm gonna have me a snack. I think this little gnome here was pretty good. Nom nom nom. Against who? You. <laughs> oh, against me? Yeah. Against Vip? Yeah. Okay, so only the uh, 30 hits. So I'll take eight, uh, 20 damage. And I'm going to be holding on to you. <coughs> oh, boy. Oh, you go. Inspire courage. To, to whom? Uh, I think anyone and everyone within a certain range. <laughs> it's a hard thing. Yeah. So, um, Say again? Yeah. Yeah, basically, it, it, it's a bard ability. Plus one to attack and damage. Plus two. one uh, to charm and fear effects. I said plus two. No. Plus From two. But yeah. Level five. <coughs> oh, it was a ring attack. So everyone, everyone that in the turn your song gets a star courage. Yeah. Is it all, Jim? Yeah. All right. Uh, John goes, he shakes off the freaking attack of hell. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Why did I keep doing that by accident? He hits. For 21 points of damage. Imps are dead. Well, you want to do the, the finals blow? I mean, I could tase him. Um, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Got to do some math. Plus 12 now. 25 versus touch. He's got a uh, He's got a Wolf's Fort save. Uh, is this is this half or none? If 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 it passes the fort. If it if he beats the fort, he's unaffected. This is the taser. Remember. Oh, so right. He's tased or he's not tased. Guys, about to say if it's if it's half, it's going it's going to be knocked out no matter what. So yeah. if it's he's if it's exactly. tased, then it's different. As soon as roll twenty likes to lose, I can actually roll the sports save. Ah, oh, come on, roll 20. Ah, oh, fuck, I remember this fort. Uh, 
Uh, wait, he only has a plus two uh, port save? But, well, okay. I, I think it was a plus seven earlier, but he still failed. Yeah, I can't exactly roll... I can't exactly load this sheet on roll 20. <laughs> there we go. Hey, yeah, it's plus seven, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay, hold on, Ty. You already rolled. Yeah, I know. I know. I was just you, you making sure, roll but. Again. Yeah. You should, Ty, it's very bad practice. Because yeah, I, I, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Practice. I'm checking. So, I was making sure okay. everything worked correctly, okay. but yeah. So, yeah, it's a plus seven, so. um. He still he failed. Just, so, he failed. So, he's tased now for 10 rounds. But he can at the end of each at the end of each round he can ro try to roll again. So it's just laying there with one HP, literally waiting to die. <laughs> yeah. Snuffles. <laughs> um num 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 num. Full round attack. That hits. Yeah, he's he's dead no matter two he's, claws and a bite. He's dead no matter what damage you hit now. So yeah, <coughs> he is dead. Fight over. <laughs> like vic victory across the entire thing, as you hear that. The other two demons are dead, but a couple, but several paladins and, let's admit, just several paladins paid the price for, paid the price. Hmm. <sighs> well, he would have taken 39 points of damage. I think that's overkill. <laughs> Yeah, insta kill. If you if you uh, over your negative by your um, con, it's yeah. yeah. It's like a negative. Okay, in three point five, it was negative your con score. I think in Pathfinder was like negative your con score plus modifier. With five e, it was like negative like your health in negatives. I just turn on the AC real quick. As vic as victories enjoyed, and people were, and their and some and their mourning some of their lost paladins. To the paladins that succeeded, I will hold a candlelight vigil, and we shall have a toast. Oh no, oh no, what's his paws go is at bat punching a tree right now. Veb goes and assists. <sighs> That's a hell of a thing. Yeah, they just Yeah, the one we fought is just half hailstorm of a hailstorm of a hailstorm. I feel cold just look at that thing now. Alright, when your negative hit points equal to your con stores, you're dead. Okay, so it's still the same as 3.5. Okay. Probably should have asked Mittens to not eat the hit. I could have then had a nice trophy to hang over the bar. <laughs> you can still, you still just ask him not to hit the head, just eat the chest instead. I let's be honest. You think idiots are going to try and attack a bar where they have a skull of that thing in them? <sighs> and 
Yes, Veb is asking that to the other fellow warrior. <laughs> uh, Steel Mo's like, <laughs> I like your. I I can see my I can see my old friend like to hang out here so much. <laughs> because we provide the best dog drink in this area, the best ale, the best wine, the best brandy, and the actual clean water. Uh, Orzo also has a clean water. Uh, never ever discount Orzo. He also is a really good bartender. Uh, <coughs> well, not to fight over. Not to fight over. At, let me. Not to fight over. Let me get some of those ales before I have to. Oh, put, put, fuck put the, yes. Put, put the paladins back where they're. Oh, oh, oh. Orzo, um, what lands. you're looking at. What you're looking at is types of ale. We got IPAs, we have Imperial Pale Ales, we have Wheat Loggers, we have Pilsners, we have uh, Hefeweizens. If, if it's a type of beer you want, I got it. And I also have incredible brandy, bourbon, whiskey, and scotch, as well as gin. <laughs> Uh, bring me the strongest you have. As, as, he, as, he, as he looks at his brother, but it's like, ah, it's good to fight one more time in the front lines. Ah. Uh, Veb just like... But, 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 but fortunately, this is, my, this is my retirement from the front lines. I'll be just a public speaker from now on. Don't think that. You got value. You're a mentor. Be a mentor. Inform those idiots that think being a paladin is all just funny games. Inform yeah, them for understanding the, of what it is that is necessary. What you uh, are unfortunately the, risk. The, unfortunately, the first person I mentored ran away like a coward. Pussy. And the second person I mentored is in, in a wheelchair right here, so... Not exactly a good track record when it comes to mentoring. Well, how about the two of you? You work together, your mentor tell what it is you're actually willing to risk is the thing. I am a member of the Order of the Flag. I have acknowledged that I could very well die in the next battle I come across. I could very well lose my beautiful horse mittens. I have had to accept that. And at the same time, we need to understand that we need to reinforce. <laughs> there is no sacrifice without honor. No sacrifice too great. Especially for those that we love. Uh, you know and what? Stro the strongest in the house for all of them. They get they did an excellent job. We we're, were more we we're more our foreign we we're more our foreign aura members tomorrow, and then we and then we're going to leave you to your p business, if you will. At that point, Veb just like brings out a whole bunch of like glasses, starts filling it with like the strongest hefeweizens he has, <laughs> and a couple of shot glasses here and there with the strongest brandy he has. And yeah, the bar is gonna have a bunch of drunkards. Yeah, but they're gonna make sure they're not gonna get too drunk with, with their with three of their bosses, and assume some some high rank officers walking around. Okay. But yes, between the two of you, you have shown what it is to engage in the notion of no sacrifice is too great. I would request you keep coming around. You two are brave. You two have had incredible encounters. And one day, there's a chance I may end up in a position like you. Or I may be in the crowd. As I said before, from my order, no sacrifice is too great. For those that you love. 
<sighs> no sacrifice too great. No, no, no deed too small for our justice remains one and all. <sighs> that was a, that's a, that's the no fight her. That's a, that's the oath I took when I um officially became a paladin. I took an oath very similar to that as I entered the Order of the Flagon. Specifically the order, specifically the oath I took. One's sacrifice can never be too great because one's deeds can never be too small because the totality of your life shall be a book that shall be written and read for ages. So make it good. And uh, Veb just holds like a little shot glass up to like clink glasses with the uh, uh, he, he, general. He, he clicks glasses like, ah, the only thing that says like tomorrow, like tomorrow morning, I find a new, a new, a new person as my second in command. I'm pretty sure even if he passes his test, uh, Stone's pretty much not going to be rough. Well, it's going to be a freelance paladin from now on. That is if he is going to be a paladin. Is his heart pure? Is his cause true? Then. If, through physical analogies, I'll try and find someone that can help him. <sighs> That's going to be tricky. I tried to help him. He's what people call the second weapon master. Technically, I regained that talent because of this. Joking, at, joking looking at his blunderbust. Because <laughs> now, cause now I, fi I finally used a, a firearm. Nothing wrong with such a thing. I acknowledge technology increases. Eventually, one day, <coughs> well, one day, we'll be in the history books. <laughs> but let's ensure it goes out with a bang! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, <sighs> look, hey, look. And, and just and, and one of the pals just gave the word like and it looks like history is moving faster than we thought. The 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 name the ship the first lady was on was proven to be successful with little of no casualties. Hey, her her experiment with the navy worked like a charm. That's good to hear. Uh, yeah, that reminds me. Should probably get the first lady a nice little uh something something. Uh don't worry about it. I want to supposed to tell you this. But you but you know someone who someone who comes in but you suspect someone comes in here or always a shitload of food and then holds it out as fast as possible. That's one of the, that's one of the first lady's secret serv that's one of the president's secret service members. That's how that's how famous you and you and Scrap this restaurant is. That's who that was. Uh, hand to the head, the salute of I do my service. Ah, uh, and that going head out, going to head upstairs for the night. Of course, the finest beddings, and yes, I check every night, along with mittens, snuffles, and the beautiful lady Emso. Ah, uh, thank you very much. Well, then, sure, you get the best quarters. Uh, nothing, not, nothing much happens throughout the day. Um, but place punching a tree, like, 
Like, um, Alora is, um, praising the paladins, yet, um, Sean, yet saying, but you need to, but you need to correct this, this, and this mistake. In other words, when she's out of the battlefield, she's, she's as lean as you could get, but she's also a perfectionist. And does anyone that want to do anything for the rest of the day? Uh, after the general goes to bed, uh, Veb would like to assist with the, uh, the tree. <sighs> mittens and snuffles will just be mittens and snuffles. Blood pipes punching it, thinking, like, I shove, I shove, <laughs> I shove, I shove tackle stone, I shove tackle stone, I shove tackle stone. Fucking stone, fucking st Effing stone, effing stone, effing stone. I knew it's no good. Let's do this shit together. <sighs> I remember that tree was set up by a by a orc, a half orc monk to try for him to try as one of, as one to choose from his temple. <laughs> Oh boy! So you pretty much, uh, let's just say Emsos might have called called them back. Or let's just say Emsos might have called her one of his uncle back early to get another tree together. Uh, what's everyone else doing? Hmm. Well. Let's see. So, I uh, remember. Remember, you can also just have to have one of what's it called steal the blunderbuss for um research purposes. No, that would dis that would draw too much attention. Plus, considering what William has, I think he'd look at a blunderbuss and go, "Okay, yeah. that's good, like basic concepts, but I have something better." Yeah, we got some more advanced tech at this point. Well, if someone did destroy the lab, the blunderbuss would have been a freaking machine gun. The, the blunderbuss would have been a, a machine gun. <laughs> well, actually, the blunderbuss would have been a bazooka. Pretty much. It would have been like a man-portable cannon. Pretty much. So, yeah, that's what she was going for when you snuck into the office. The only thing you hear is, the only thing you hear is the freaking, the premiere, the premiere of these, of the, the premiere of the, of the Starlight City Navy, like, a gallon with magical armor, firing cannonballs and machine guns, take it, take, like, take it down demons and sorcerers. Taking down demons and fish left and right and so, but for some odd reason the fish are a lot smaller than they expect. I wonder why. <laughs> and of course, before she leaves, she posted something on the wall, like, like if you want, she posted something on the wall saying, "If you're tired, of, especially to the paladin, or like, if you're tired of taking." Or from an old man, you come to us, and we, with the layers of technology that can that can combine magic and that can combine magic and and that can combine magic and technology together for a new age. Oh. And yeah, she's also. And before you ask, yes, she's also aiming for your game man as well. Oh, well, remember, remember, this first lady is straight to the point. Yep. I'll attempt to counter that using my uh, artistry philosophy. I'm going to go a bit. Okay, it's high enough. Right now, you sit. 
a lot of people are like, well, the Navy is kind of new. It has its a plus its first showing. Yeah, but the Gearman but the Gearman has repeat boats. showings. <laughs> We've got speedboats. They made one big expensive thing. We've made a bunch of things that we literally mass produce. <laughs> we basically made PT boats, Ty. <laughs> so pretty much while while they're getting started with a navy, they already have one. Well, a brown water navy. So, they they uh, just have bigger. They just have bigger. You just trade speed for you just. Yeah, they just trade maritime. speed for firepower. Yeah, whereas we are more of a maritime force. We're more of a, a mercantile force because we have a uh, speed boats and uh, and uh, steam uh, like cargo ships. <coughs> but you know, like, I would they Oh, one more thing. She even left a letter. I see a, a web says you're at the bar. Use perception check to see if you find the letter. To um, see that for for proud more. Definitely not one of his best checks. Mine? No, perception is one of my strongest. No, me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I let, unless you want to, you walk to the bar to. Check two. She left a letter for Pratmore before. Uh, three left left for Pratmore before she left. <laughs> um, Feb? Perception? <laughs> It's not recognizing the commands. Give me a moment. A uh, thirteen. He finds the letter first. <laughs> he picks it up and like, Oof, that's interesting. <clears throat> like it it seems it seems it seems the it seems the president first lady wants me to turn their um what's it called their navy seeing that a tracker of my abilities shouldn't be at a bar they even elected to bring my um friend along and she and he blesses heavily when he says friend as their, as my personal cleric bribery i put two uh two half and glasses in front of him Well, two of whatever he had before. Uh, hi, he took he took he tasted glasses. And then uh then, just to keep it the charade, he'll just keep putting uh glasses of whatever been he at the bar has had before. Beers, <coughs> shots, scotch, ales, etc. Oh boy, it's not going to take him too long to get drunk because he's in a wheelchair. So I don't want to say cripple claw, <laughs> a cripple advantage, but sorry. For at the four sh at the four rounds, he's started to get drunk. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lord Fed, but I got a punch off in the night. I'm a little too, let's just say, not in this right state of mind to continue going. Of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. Just, just take a seat. Take a minute. Take a minute and get a breather. And Veb slowly goes to the person that, like, had the letter that 
he did attempt to try and grab. Uh, how is his condition? Uh, huh? How is his condition? Uh, that's what. Uh, the the shower grabbed the lair. I'm going. I'm going to use a DM thing. Once once Prime Lord got drunk enough, the shower grabbed one of the shells grabbed the ladder. Excellent. Okay. I will then put out a glass of water for everyone. Okay, so that's pretty much the kitchen staff. The kitchen reached staff at this point says everyone's gone to the rooms for the night. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to uh, ask the chef to pass me the letter. He passes you the letter. <laughs> like o office for the president. Office for the president himself. Is there any specific like in the note? Any like specific? Uh, what's the terminology called? What's the terminology called? Okay, who is it? Who exactly is it addressed to? Uh, the Starlight City's White House. Okay. Specifically, like the governmental official building. Uh, okay. What's in the letter? Uh, it's just the, it's just a letter and and a prototype for something that could actually have him standing upright again. As another um, bribery tool to say, hey, if you join my navy, I can actually fix this for you so that you can stand upright again until your back is healed. I am going to hand this letter to William. We need to keep him on our side. So this is the pallet in the wheelchair? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'll, uh, I'll say I'll handle this. I'll see this in the morning. You know, more technologically and even more magically knowledgeable than I am. I acknowledge that. If anyone can get him to start walking again, it would probably be you. I'd have to do a full medical examination, but I believe there are ways we could. I could always ask your sister. I could also ask for some system for Sister Hart to speed up the recovery process. She's a good girl. We can trust her. The trick is to get her on our side permanently. Mittens trusts her. But I understand that Mittens trusting someone isn't the greatest indicator of pure loyalty. But it has to count for something. Ironically, uh, everyone Mittens trust was actually a good guy, and the one person Mrs. Mittens trust, trust was a bitch. <laughs> so, so far, Mittens is pretty much, <laughs> pretty much by in a hundred, by, by in a thousand. <laughs> okay, so. I'll wait for the morning, and I'll uh, approach the uh, paladin in a wheelchair, and I'll just go. Uh, and what was his name again? Uh, Routine Proudmore. Proudmore. What's his rank? Uh, an affiliate. He's he's a freelancer. Mister Proudmore. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, William. Thank you for. Let me borrow that outfit the other day. Anytime. Um, I stumbled across this letter. Uh, you left it out last night, and I'll uh, kind of hand it to him. Mentioned oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, yes. Apparently, the first lady dropped it off to make sure I see it. Huh. Well, I mean, if you're having issues with your spine, I mean, I, we could. Um, I, we have one of the most advanced medical facilities. Out there, I'd be more than happy to do a uh, examination, see what we could do for you ourselves. I think I, 
I haven't actually tried regular medicine before. To me, I actually got her mother. She may actually went to her mother to ha to give me the best magical <coughs> medicine around, but obviously, 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 even the best clouds can't prepare this. Well, I mean, I've heard of things like the regeneration spell, but very few uh, are capable of casting. I don't know why I'm going to have you roll a check, because he, I guess he's been in the restaurant so long they trust you, but... Diplomacy? I'm not exactly bullshitting him. Yeah, diplomacy. Anything less than 15... Any more than 15 will pass. I've got a plus 16 modifier. So, 20. I fucking soft sell it and still get the sale. <laughs> Alright, well, you soft sell it. You soft sell the sale. Like, okay, I'm listening, but... What can you... But what can you do if the best... If the best, um, cleric can't... Am I... Friend and you and you see him blushing when he says friend, meaning a friend he has a crush on. Like, if my own friend can't heal me after heal me, and she and she did so after the battle. Well, the issue with magical healing is is it tries to get the body to heal itself. Problem is, it takes a lot of energy sometimes to fix serious damage. The regenerate spell basically has your body regrow the lost parts, giving it the energy it needs. But most healing spells don't produce nearly that much energy. I see. Hmm. Whereas, whereas, just... my, whereas my system, it in a sense, it's, it's called surgery, and it, 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 it in a sense injures you yes because we have to utilize special knives to cut in there but what we can do is we can go in there and move the uh, move the damage parts around or remove things that are uh, cannot heal on their own thus allowing your own tissue to heal up we also combine it with utilizing some healing magic to speed up what we call the recovery process but it's only using very weak healing spells in comparison It takes longer. I'll I'll say that right now. It can take, you know, it, a surgery can last for hours easily. He thinks for a moment, then says, uh, "Mr. Vip, sir." Yes. Do you mind if I work here a little while longer? I'm going to try this um surgery thing. Of course. I'll even let you take my temporary roomings. <coughs> well, if you're going to be a bartender here, I will ensure you're the best you can be. I will teach you. I will teach and ensure that you are the best in the country. <laughs> he laughs like... As best I love to be a bartender, I'm pretty sure getting people drunk is a is a violation of a of a or of a of a what you call a somewhere. Oh, and and unfortunately, and unfortunately that big ex girl that um what that um H H H W H O R E of my ex girlfriend of mine has a point. Because I'm an affiliate, it's going to take me cross that long to be um, reestablished into the order. Sorry, reestablished as a paladin. So long as you do not intentionally overserve someone, then, based on my understandings of the paladin orders, you should be alright. <coughs> Just pay attention to who it is you're giving a drink to. The moment you think they've had too much cut them off, even if it means physically taking their drink away from them. <laughs> I think I'm, 
I didn't want to have you do that. <laughs> or blood storm if it's around. Alright. I trust you. Alright, so... How do I sign up for this surgery? Well, first we'd have to go to the main medical center in the uh, town of in the city of Springwood. We'd have to do medical examinations on you, figure out what the issue is. I don't want to do explore. What, there's something called exploratory surgery, but I don't want to use that if I can avoid it. Get an idea what the, what's causing the issue before we start cutting it. All right. So he so he wills himself down to the <coughs> med medical building. Yep. And I'll start doing a full. I'll do a full medical workup. Full medical. Say again. I'll be doing a full medical evaluation of him. <sighs> All right. So this is gonna be doctor. So I'm not gonna bother roll because they know what they're fucking doing. Well, I mean, I'm the one actually doing it, so I'm assuming my surgeon keeps off of this. And then I think I get it with surgical equipment. Five. And after a full medical examination, yeah, his back is. They report to you. Oh, damn, okay. Yeah, I'll do it myself. Okay, good news. Well, the back is broken. Like, pretty much Bane broke back, man's back broken. And that and that's with wind force armor. And just to pretty much give a giant fuck you before he died, he cursed the broken part of his back. Hmm. Meaning that you have to have someone lift the curse before you even think about repairing it. Right now you're the only one that knows that knows this. Okay, remove curse. Uh, what level is um, Sister Heart, roughly? Uh, Sister Heart Primus is level 15. Wow, she's actually one of the few that could cast a regeneration spell. <laughs> yeah, but she didn't learn it. Uh, clerics have access to their entire spell list. Oh, right. Yep. Every day. She can, like she, she, she could, he, it. she could cast with Jerry Racin and Heather. His um cross is level twelve, so she can't. Oh, so since her's only level twelve, that's still fine. She has the remove curse spell. Okay. Remove curse, regenerate, and she will uncircumcise him. Well, I mean, I'm still gonna do the surgery because uh, regenerate is a pretty powerful spell. Again, not many people have it. Takes three full rounds to cast, so it's not bad. But mm -hmm. broken bones, ruined organs grow back. Is complete in one round if a seven member is present. Yeah. So yeah, basically, yeah, regenerate a pretty powerful spell. It's an out of combat spell. But yeah. So what we'll do is we'll first have um, Sister Heart remove the curse, and then we'll uh, go down the road of uh, surgery for him to repair the damage. All right. So Sister Heart then. His cross Hever comes down because she's because she's working with Sister Heart until until this guy gets back on his feet. Sister Heart removes the curse, nice. and I guess next is the surgery. I like, provide him all the alcohol, so he's <laughs> out unconscious. Actually, remember, I'm, I've already made um, anesthetic. Well, yeah, remember you, yeah, yeah. Remember you and Jim Payne may ask steak already, so. Yeah. I already have anesthetic. So okay, so we'll do the surgery now. All right, um, Jim Payne, Jim Payne, alchemist check. Uh, carrot, sorry, seawall medicine check. Twenty-eight. I'll actually use my uh, session reroll for that. Thirty, apparently. All right, well, the third one, the the med, the what the the what you call it works. He's knocked out and completely like immune. 
With the 30, you can see the surgery, I say, is a success. He won't be okay. walking and talking for a while, but the yeah. back will heal much faster and, and stronger if can, eventually. Well, also, if we combine it with a little bit of light healing magic, I'm assuming, you know, like low-level cure uh, cure wound spells and things like that, he'll be up and about pretty quickly. I think both two. Both. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. So, if, yeah, if we combine it with a little bit of a, uh, with some of your cure serious wounds, you should be back up and running a lot faster. So... All right, so cure serious wounds, and he pretty much sits in a hospital bed for about a couple of weeks before he's literally up and running around again. Nice. <sighs> so yay, the 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 party gets back together and and celebrate the the pal their friendly paladins. The friendly paladins roll to recovery. His clever friend gives him the kiss, and all is right with the world. They think about going and adventuring. They go back going to. They think about taking about about a month's rest before going back to saving the world and being adventurous and stuff. I'd actually try to convince him to join the gearmen. Settle down. All right, well, come. Okay, the dark, the, all right, the, the sorcerer's, the sorcerer, the sorcerer council's daughter is not going to do that, but you can rent the other three. Yeah, I'll convince the other ones to uh, settle down here in, uh, in uh, Springwood, join the gearmen, bring their, help bring their experience to make our uh, people more effective. Like I say, you can rent the other three, the other the last one you pretty much get a, a natural twenty. It won't convince her to settle down. All right, so three, three. Who are you in for first? The cleric, the paladin, or or the mage? I focus on the cleric and paladin. The mage, I'm not so worried about. All right, well, the paladin's actually the easiest one because he's been with you longer, so. He'll he'll think about selling it down if you also convince him and we convince him and we convince the um his um Claire Cross, he'll definitely settle down. Uh, is that another roll for her? Yeah, you have to roll for her. Twenty? Make one roll a little higher. So what another roll to try to convince? Huh? Another roll to try to convince? Yeah. 25. Damn it, just on the button. <laughs> yeah. You know, convince her to work at the medical center. That she doesn't have to use such powerful magics to heal people. That, you know, com a combination of, you know, a, a medical intervention and then uh, allows them to heal far more people. All right, you want you want to convince the wizard, or you want him to um I'll, fuck I'll off and be shot. to go to go on adventures again? Twenty. I'm 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 I'll I'll soft sell it. I don't really care. Uh, you'll convince him. He's yeah. Just ask if he wants to join us as part of magical research, but you know. and just for six fingers, see if you can get the net twine to convince him. Ta nope. To me, that oh, you're not going to convince her at all. <laughs> nope. Just now to say, hey, maybe they settle down here in town. Nope. Okay. Never going to push it. Again. All right. So instead of so a couple of weeks, instead of them going out for more adventures, they're having a farewell party for their for their for the now newly for the now new couple that's going to settle down, get married, have kids. The whole nine guards. So, so they're all at Emsel's bar, having teary goodbyes with each other. Like, it's like, oh, don't worry. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can, you convince someone to join you to um, get, 
get in their way to make sure you don't get killed. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to miss you guys, though. Yeah. But enjoy. Enjoy your new enjoy your new life, you happy couple you. Yeah. And congratulations, you pretty much have a master a Clarence and Master Trekker on your side now. Useful. Nice. Now we gotta slowly corrupt them into the darkness. Say again? Now we gotta slowly corrupt them into our ideology. You know, the ends justify the means. That's gonna be tricky because remember his his girl his girlfriend is a cleric. So there are evil clerics. Which god does she follow? Ah, uh, I'm gonna check on that. But she's probably one of the good gods. Yeah, because the thing is, there is a neutral god of healing. Yeah, I convince her to, ch to change gods. <laughs> oh, I mean, what I'm doing with Sister Heart, I'm slowly corrupting her until her god stops giving her power. And then, you know, convince Sister Heart to uh, follow a different god. Uh, that's... Oh, boy, this is going to be fun. You're going you're gonna to convince Heather to fall for... So it's just follows a neutral god. And, and convince... I convinced you, Ting, to break his <laughs> oath, so he becomes a fallen paladin, and 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 by default, then purely then a tracker. Then, then retrain, then have him retrain to gunslinger. Say again. Then have him retrain to becoming a gunslinger. All that experience, but now operating as one of our uh, gearmen. Well, it does have a gearman uniform, so. All right, so other quick things: the prison's going, the prison, the prison construction is going smoothly, and it's said to be op and they say there's going to be, and they say it's going to be open, and they say it's going to be open in about a couple months. Good. Meanwhile, thanks nice. to someone decide to use mermaids to bomb the underground prison that's that was kind of setting up. The construction is taking even longer. Well, With, we would actually wait for one of the for when one of the chief engineers is there, one of the chief architect and designer, have them blow it then, so the mastermind behind it uh, dies in the failure of the underwater prison. Um, the mastermind behind it is not going to die. The guy can survive a massive inflow of water. The mastermind is the first lady. Oh, okay. And she has one, and she has one spell that will allow her to survive. Which one? Water breathing. Uh, nope. The final chrome master spell. Even though she's level sixteen, her running wind gives her, gives her, gives her a, a spell up to four, five levels. Her, up to five. Up to five levels her actual level, which means she could use doppelganger. Which means she could use doppelganger, aka someone from another dimension could come in here to come in, to come to her dimension, take her out safe, take her out of harm's way, stabilize her, and then go back to her, go back to the dimension she came from. <coughs> Damn. Hmm. In other words, if you're going to kill her, you have to kill her twice. Yep. Or or make sure she can't, can't get her original body out to safety. But I would imagine many of the workers die. In oh, yeah, many of the workers will die. <laughs> and, uh, and which, uh, which is why I'm saying that yeah. because of that, everything slowed down. Oh, it'll be massively slowed down. I'm imagining that... Uh... They're having trouble finding new workers, since you know, smart engineering sabotage made it look like it was a flaw in the design that failed. Uh, yeah, let me actually check to see how many workers will get black heart in the blast. 
It wasn't a bla it wasn't a blast that kills them. It was a small blast causing a breach, leading to the place filling up with seawater. Okay, let me rephrase that. If it if any of them have water breathing. Cut this number in half. Uh, I, I need to duck out now. Uh, my dad no just problem. collapsed. Again. Sorry. Uh, you're, about to, you're about to take off, man? So, yeah. Half the workers died. The other one has war breathing. Ah. But you have mermaids, so you could just blast them again and again until war breathing eventually wears off. No, 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 no. We, uh, we, 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 well, the thing is, what we would do, we would have made the collapse, um, and, um, and it would have been if they could even get out of the partially collapsed structure. Because I don't know if they built this thing to actually have uh, water side exits. I would imagine not. But, you know, if they designed it with safety in mind. Yeah, probably doesn't last forever, so... Yeah, most of the workers are either hurt or mostly dead. Yeah. And I would use this opportunity to propagandize... Well, is, it, is this prison public knowledge? Uh, yeah, that prison is public knowledge. Because they're literally the only yeah. prison who said no to your Alcatraz Island prison. Yeah, I'll use this to uh, rail against it. Just saying, you know, the, 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 they clear they clearly don't care about the safety of their workers. That they're that they're rushing this to uh, 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 try to you know, uh, basically he's gonna he's gonna put profit motive behind it. You know, this is gonna the, the ba basically he's going to use various dirty tricks to make it seem like they are uh, they're cutting corners and getting people killed. That they'd probably horribly mistreat the prisoners, things like that. 28. Alright, well, you don't get any construction member on your side, but not, but, 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 but unless it's that top secret project that um, the president's first lady is working on, they're not going to um, they're not going to get any more workers to work on that president anytime soon. Yeah, so. Protests in the streets about worker safety. What, what protest against the prison against the top secret project? Well, I mean, you said the prison project was public now. Uh, yeah, let's see. The submarine's secret. <coughs> Damn it. After enough protest, you see. You see a letter delivered to Emzo that says, because they don't know, they don't know the address of your castle yet. Mm -hmm. Like, after careful consideration, we would join our until until our prison until our prison is secure. We would we would love to add our prisoners to your prison projects. We'll give you all the manpower you need to. Help out if necessary. I'll uh, I'll thank them for the uh, uh, for the for joining the project, but politely decline the labor, saying that we already have them. So yeah, so at the same time, again, I'm just going to make sure that our materials are being very carefully uh, flowing not to them. So you know. Ah. I guess anything else for now? Uh, not particularly. Um, I, I mean, I might, you know. Say again. Uh, I, I I might try to um try to think about what devices because the thing is I can't really do much until I hit level twelve. Is when, uh, say again. Uh, is when I get the uh, new vehicle. Uh, yeah, you could try make a new vehicle. Well, no, no, no. The advanced vehicles. I get access to those at 12th level. We're only at 10th.
Well, it doesn't say you're about to level up after this session, so... Nice. So we'll hit 11th level, which is uh, useful. I double check what the might gets this level. Greater Jerry Rig. Nice. Yeah, Greater Jarek doesn't do much. But I do get two new inventions, a primary and a secondary. Neat. Uh, so with the exception of the beginning of the corruption, beginning of the corruption, I guess that's it for night. <laughs> I think I'll go with the Paralyzer as one of my primary inventions. Because it's so damn useful. That's nasty. Uh, I also gain access to something called chain paralysis if I make it a primary. I'm going to end the recording now. And I'm going to go lie down. See you guys later.